We spilled the blood of the Ochre Knights. But we were not successful in taking over the city. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that we lost. It also doesn't matter that I've lost a leg. No one died and that is what counts. But this showed me that we need further advance our gear and our skills. I called in a meeting with everyone after we repaired our wounds. Throughout this I gained enough knowledge to further improve ourselves. First off, Belzebub told me about a special machine that the skin bandits are using. He called it the machinery of doom. With that one we can replace our limbs and get even stronger. I asked Tenji and Void to sneak into their base and look for the blueprint. Thankfully, these bandits do not really care about us because we are skeletons. Leviathan mentioned a story about a legendary weapon. They are said to hold a strength that is even greater than a Me Too weapon. Luckily for us, Atlas has knowledge about old ruins. So he told us about a few that might have potential and they are in range. So it was time for us to move to that location. While we were on the path, Unit 0198 wants to head to the Armor King to get everyone better gear. We packed our gear and started to march towards the Armor King. When we reached him, we spent nearly all of our cats in this place. But it was worth it, as now we are even tougher than before. Shortly after, we marched over the hills, over the Holy Land where we finally reached Venge. The ruin was said to be on the beach side, so we started at the north and moved down to the south. That is where we finally stumbled upon an old ruin that looked very promising. We quickly took over the vault. The guardians weren't really strong. And after searching through some of the containers, we finally found it. Tempest Stampede. A huge legendary sword. Powerful, mighty. And we gave it to Leviathan because he was the only one who was able to wield this powerful weapon. Before we head back to our base, we want to keep searching for more vaults down the beachside. Maybe we can find another legendary weapon. Hello my fellow Kenji players and welcome back to Unit 707 episode number 015. In today's episode we are going to hunt for more legendary weapons. We also, or we already, have one weapon at our disposal. And this is the Tempest Stampede weapon. I'm just giving this, oh wait, my bad, just giving it back to Leviathan. Wait, where is he? There is he. Because I just had to swap it to, for the recordings. So this is the mighty weapon that we found. Now, with a little bit of help of Leviathan, aka Beaky on Discord, we were able to get this sword. It is insanely strong. The only problem is that we need more strength to wield it. And so that means we need to upgrade our strength. Now the easiest way to do that would be to just remove our limbs and speaking of removing our limbs, as you saw in the intro, Tenji and Void were tasked to go to the skeleton bandits, like the skin bandits, and take the blueprint of Seventh for the peeler. Now, <clears throat> fun fact, we stumbled Game is lagging. We stumbled upon an old ruin. 
in which I knocked out the Guardian. Wait, where is he? Okay, he despawned because I reloaded the game. That's fine. And while knocking him out, we found a Frame Axe, Me Too weapon, and uh, an Ecore. So not only are we going to get the Peeler Machine, we also got a new Me Too weapon. And since it's a hacker, this weapon will probably go to the Purge Doctor because I think this fits him pretty well. So, what, what can we say? Oh, 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 we are getting really, really strong. And with Tenji, I mean, f first I was training with Void and Tenji, but Void got hit pretty badly from the skin bandits. And now Tenji is doing that. As you can see, his assassination is on 80 right now. I've been training quite a bit, and soon we will be able to take out 7. But before we do that, we are going to move to the north with my boys. And we are going to the Berserk country, because there's an ancient vault there. There is an ancient vault. I have been to this vault already. Wait, oh. Oh, yeah, it's Berserk country, right? Yeah, it must be that. Pretty sure. I mean, I've passed by this, and it looks like I have not found this weapon. Because ancient vaults have legendary weapons on the inside. I don't know why I didn't see it this time around, but I'm going to take a look again, because there must be a legendary weapon in there. So we're going up with the guys, and in the meantime, we're going to train with Tenji. Let me see, let me move closer to the outpost, and Void will stay on the inside for the time being, because I don't want him to get hurt anymore. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is a little bit uh, dry. Mm. Taking a sip of water. So, and these are the skin bandits, my friends. Now, if you know the normal skin bandits, they are already pretty strong and tough, especially if you're a human, <laughs> human, <laughs> human, check or a hiver. And this time around, they got buffed. Look at this dude. This is the skin tanner. His stats are in the hundreds, 90 to hundreds. This guy is really dangerous. Um, and believe me one thing, you don't want to fight him. That's why we're using stealth to deal with these guys. Now I'm going over here. And as you can see, on some people we already have 100% knockout chance. This also trains our assassination. And that's what I've been doing for the, the past 2 or 3 hours. Just training up my stats. Now don't worry, I'm not going to abuse the assassination. This is just for um, the roleplay sake, because Kenji, I mean, Ten sorry, Tenji, is a very skilled thief. He, oh shit, <laughs> he will be able to take out Seven and take the Peeler Machine. So I don't care about Seven's other stuff, although we're probably also gonna take his weapon, because why not? But I'm pretty sure Seven must have around 100 strength or so, I mean 100 um, toughness level. And this is a huge group of iron spiders moving past here, which I do not want to run into. While we're at it, knocking out more of these. We are all ready to knock out this guy, because when I came here, I wasn't even able to knock out the skin tanner. And now I am, which is fine. Are my guys still moving? They're aimless. Why are they aimless? They must be moving, right? Du, 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 du. Okay, they are not moving. That is... I don't know why. Okay, first you go, you know, you go to the high village first. In the meantime, I'm going to train with Tenji. Oh my god, look at all the skin bandits here. This might be a bit too much. No, the legendary of Ken uh, Kenji mod <clears throat> literally buffed these guys to an extreme level. I mean, they're already... They already were scary, but this time around it's even, even scarier. We are coming to a point where we are, we are literally getting nearly only 100% of... Assassination chance on the normal eh, 
Skin bandits. Just awesome. It really is. So follow them again. I'm getting attacked here, but I'm not really that scared. Oh, just some big things. Just imagine someone knocks out everyone in your squad and you don't even get it. It's like everyone gets unconscious and you you don't even think about it. You just keep on walking because you don't care. Such is the life of Kenji. Now let me try to knock out this guy here. Oh, we did it. We knocked him out. Great. Let's see what this guy has. Corrupt human skin suit. Soaked in the blood of many, worn by few, it rubs the lotion on the skill till it becomes human again. Damn it, that's cruel. But look at this. This is uh, it's not even that bad. Dodge combat. Damn it. Do you really want to take this with me? You know what? Perch Doctor can use this, right? What do you say? <laughs> what do you say to that Perch? You wanna you wanna wear some human skin? I guess it would fit you really nice. I can remove it like that. It's fine. Yeah, I think I'm going. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going going to give this to Porch Doctor. That fits really nice. Now in the meantime, you go over here. Let me check on the guys, on the guys of the boys. Let's move up here, shall we? Atlas, why are you not... Okay, now you're moving. Uh, just to make... To show you something else. We have been to the Armor King, and there are some special Skeleton Samurai leg blades here. They look really nice. Also, they have nice uh, defense level. And I've bought all of his stock. Like, I literally bought everything I could buy from the Armor King. So some of us got better gear. Sadly, I wasn't able to buy everything. But I, I had like 4,000 cats and I, I wasn't like 20,000 when I f was finished. So yeah, I bought quite a bit of stuff. And if you wonder how much how I made all of this money, I just collected some big thing eggs because there are plenty in Venge. 85 assassination level, that's nice. That's really nice. Uh, we are on 60% already, if we want to take out the big guy. Uh, we are getting attacked again. Seems like the threat was dealt with. Oh no, oh no. That I didn't want to do. Ugh, look at all the skin bandits. Can you imagine being a human in this situation? That can and will end really badly. Oh my, why is my game lagging? What's going on? Holy crap. Guess too much stuff is going on. Hey, yeah, we don't wanna. We don't wanna fight them. Oh, there's a big one coming again. The skin tanner. It's a person that we do not want to fight. Saying it again. Especially not with his edge type 1 or edge type 2 mace he has. Burn is fighting. Okay, the fight is over. Let's see. They're using robotics, so that means they are not moving again. Where are they? Okay. Pretty much spread out. So everyone just please come come onto here to this village. It's a little bit hard to control two parties at the same time because the game starts lagging and then if you have ordered them to do something, it stops and oh my god, what the hell is going on right now? This is not normal. Guess there are a little bit of too many skin bandits. I mean, realistically speaking, I think it's 
It's a little bit too much, you know? Compared to the other factions and stuff, I I wonder how Seven will be able to get so many skeletons. I mean humans, of course, because they're humans, right? 87 assassination, nice. Let me take out this guy too. Oh no! Oh! Don't get hit! Run, Denji, run for your life! Getting attacked again, it seems. Oh, okay, our... Our pack animals. <laughs> Lol, pack animals. Okay, so it seems like I have to do something about this. Oh, yeah. Could be that we get knocked out here. So everyone, please go help crit, will you? Crit, come on, hit. Okay. Okay, we won this. Never mind. I thought we were going to lose, but we won this. Great. Oh no, Tenji is getting attacked. Probably a skin bandit. Yeah. Oh no, no. Oh, that was. That was close. Really have to pay attention here. I mean, they can try and look. Uh, what will happen if we wear the skin armor, by the way? Will they also attack us or not? Or are they friendly to us then? Guess not, right? I do have skin on me. I'm one of you guys, come on. Okay, I'm on 88 and I'm getting attacked again. 88. I can I can try and look if we can maybe take out 7 now. The possibility is always there, so let me head to the outpost. To the creepy, creepy outpost. Spooky, spooky skeletons. But in the meantime, let my other people, my other guys, my squad in the north go farther to the north. So let's go over there. I hope we can make it over here in this episode because if it keeps going on, I kinda doubt it. So Void is still recovering from his damage. Well, let's see, maybe I should go in at night. There it is, the machinery of doom. That should be Seven's house, am I right? Skin Titan! Oh my god, look at this dude! Oh my lord! I really do not want to mess with this guy. I really don't. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> uh. Yeah. Skin manufacturer. There is literally a guy in here that is even stronger. And. Seventh has 150. Can we even knock him out? Oh my god. Yeah, I. This could this could potentially mean. Hmm. I will try to get my toughness up to 100. I mean, not my toughness, my assassination. But it looks like you can't do this. Maybe, but maybe with the mod. They have stored the peeler machine in the, in a container. This could also be. So that would make things easier, I take it.
are we there yet? Let's see. Okay, they're all moving, so that's good. I guess that would also answer the question if the legendary of Kenji mod did something to the skin bandits. Because it surely did. No, I'm not even sure anymore if if we will be able. To knock seven out. Maybe also get a bonus from our Exalted Ninja Suit. Which increases our assassination skill. I'm really not sure about that. I mean, I was able to knock out the, the Titan. And that means that... I might be able. Oh damn it! Don't get hit there. Okay, we nearly made it there. Fun fact here, by the way, this is where Cabo's hive started. In this area, in case. You want to know? How much XP do we get when we knock one of them out? Only 3%. How much do we get if we knock a big guy out? Okay, let me try that. Hopefully this works now. Oh, it did not. I think we got 5 or 6%, so... It's not that much more. Oh my god, the lags. No. Oh my, I'm sorry. My game is kind of laggy right now at this place. So wait, uh, where is the Titan here? It's 40s and he has 105 toughness. Yeah. Look at how many. Oh god. I'm, I'm being serious right now. I think not even with a huge army. I will be able to take them out. Like, oh my god. And the thing is, like, because they're using blunt weapons, they do more damage against skeletons. Which is also not very good for me. We reached 90, that's good. Ain't that a fun episode, guys? Just me training ahead, thinking about nothing bad. Yay, we knocked this guy out again. It is great. Yeah, sadly we can't carry too many of the corrupted human skins. <laughs> oh, think about this, a skin bandit playthrough would also be really nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, one day guys, one day we are going to do this. Just one day. Okay. Now, let's head farther to the north. Let's go over here. Move order. Nice. Nice, knocked him out. Uh, this is a little bit scarier, knocking these guys out because they do have resistance. And if if I fail that, it can become quite problematic. Good thing at night time it's very easy to just knock them out. Daytime. Ooh. It can also be scary. We still get 2%. Okay, we're only getting 1% now. 
Hey, this can be problematic. Oh yeah, they saw me, but we got- oh, I got sick. Oh, damn it. Run, Tenchi, run for your life. We got 6% from hitting this guy, so we should focus on the bigger ones. He is better overall. Where is the big guy? Did they already knock him out? That's why I can't see him. I don't know, 2% this time around, okay. Maybe I was just lucky. Okay, looks like I was just lucky, so it doesn't really matter who I knock out, it seems. Yeah, they saw me again. When we reach 92, I'm going to try again if I can knock out 7. I don't think so, but no. God damn it, game stop lagging please, will ya? Why are you doing this to me? It's probably because of the the Ashlands behind me. They start lagging. So the skin manufacturer has 112 and he has 28 resistance against my knockout. Could be considered quite a bit. Okay, we are at 92 now. I can also try to lure Seven out, but where should I? I mean, where should I even lead him to? That's the problem because I, I don't. I don't think there's anyone around here that would be able to take him out, considering his stats. Yeah, still can't knock him out. 122, that's, that's so much toughness. I can try... I can try it this way. Who is screaming fuck over there? <laughs> uh, oh no, a crab raider! No! No! Uh, damn it. I thought there might have, could have been a thing in here. Uh, blueprint. But I am pretty sure that human skin suit, yeah. Both have the same, yeah. And while you do that, oh, we are still a move order with all the other guys. Okay, nice. So let's go to the vault. Ah, uh, yeah. Sadly, we need to knock this guy out. Okay, I'm gonna gonna help my bro here. But I'm I'm sh I'm <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I think you can't you can't escape from here. Otherwise, I. Uh, I can knock him out and save him that way. Just wonder what this guy is doing down here. Yeah, no, we need we need to knock out Seventh himself, and I can't do that. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to train my assassination a little bit more. But I do think that even if I get it up to 100. I will not be able to knock him out. Sad times. Uh, we are moving to Void in the meantime. They are going to stay here a little bit longer. In the meantime, I'm going to take the main group. And we're going to go to the Ancient Vault. There it is. Like I said, I stumbled upon this vault when I when I was running around here doing some, some off-screen off stuff. And I can't really tell you what's in there. I mean, I can. Just a few robots that wanted to fight me. Uh, but I did not find a legendary weapon. Uh, now I do hope that that 
no one of the guards was carrying it. Otherwise, I uh, might have lost this one. But this weapon display isn't open, so I might be lucky. Maybe it's in here. Oh, yep, it's here. Damn it, I forgot that one. Damn me. And uh, a legendary Nodachi that was designed to be more straight than the typical Nodachi. This thing feels perfectly balanced too. Has some strange handles on it, but when you hold the weapon, everything just feels right. The note at the vault said that this weapon was made for Noble's unborn son. But unfortunately, the noble and his family died in a tragic fire before the son was born. With the owner to claim the sword, it must have sat in this wall for ages, never having drawn blood until we found it. So, that's, that's, that's a quite nice sword we have in here. And who is going to use the sword? I mean, Titan has a Nodachi, right? He's using a katana, and it's said to be a legendary Nodachi, so obviously this would fit perfectly for him. I'm just looking through my boys here. I think Titan is the one that, that should get it, you know? Let's compare the damage from a normal Nodachi to this one, okay? So first of all, we do have 197 in cutting damage and Ender does around eh, 63 more. Yeah, it does 63 more. It has uh, less armor penetration penalty. It has plus 2 attack bonus, um, a little bit less defense bonus penalty and it also does a little bit more damage against robots. So overall this weapon is pretty pretty nice. I wouldn't call it overpowered, but pretty nice whatsoever. Wait, uh, okay. I mean, that looks awesome having two swords on the back, but you know, you just need one now. So I think in, in terms of strength, it will come close to a Me Too weapon, which is really nice. So, we have found another legendary weapon, that is awesome. And I am sorry, but this episode will be a little bit shorter today, because I don't have too much time, I'm really sorry. But we got a lot of things done, we got a legendary weapon, and uh, crit is rebooting somewhere. We trained Tenshi's stats quite a bit, and uh, the only problem is that we couldn't get the peeler machine from 7th, but who knows? I will train my assassination level up and maybe there is a small chance that we can knock him out and then we can steal from him. But anyways guys, I wanna thank you for watching again and I hope I do see you in the next one. Next episode will hopefully be a little bit longer again. So anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.